NATO early warning aircraft over Poland collect data for Ukraine. NATO has again deployed airborne warning and control systems, AWACS, aircraft over Poland to monitor the skies over Ukraine. NATO says the deployment will support the alliance's enhanced presence in the region and monitor Russian military activity, UK Defence Journal reports. Officially, any intelligence gathered is only sent to NATO countries, but everyone knows that some of those countries are quick to share information with Ukraine, allowing them to counter future attacks. Western intelligence gives Ukraine the ability to react a little faster, said a former RAF officer who asked to remain anonymous. As Russia's illegal war in Ukraine continues to threaten peace and security in Europe, there should be no doubt about NATO's determination to protect and defend every inch of alliance territory. NATO spokeswoman Una Lungescu said during a similar deployment last year. NATO also has its own fleet of 14 AWACS, also E-3s. They can detect low-flying targets within 400 kilometers and higher-flying targets another 120 kilometers beyond that, the Alliance says. It says one AWACS can survey an area the size of Poland, three can cover all of Central Europe. Our AWACS can detect aircraft hundreds of kilometers away, making them a key asset for NATO's deterrence and defense, she added. In response to Russia's war in Ukraine, NATO has increased its air presence in Eastern Europe with additional fighters, surveillance aircraft and tankers. Since February 2022, NATO AWACS systems have been conducting regular patrols over Eastern Europe and the Baltic Sea region to track Russian military aircraft near NATO borders. NATO also scrambles fighter jets to scope Russian flights. It says Allied aircraft took to the skies more than 500 times in 2022 to intercept Russian aircraft that ventured close to NATO airspace. The number of such encounters dropped to more than 300 in 2023, according to the Brussels headquartered alliance. The strengthening of Ukrainian air defenses with Western weaponry may partly explain the decrease, with shootdowns seemingly making Russian pilots warrior. NATO observed reduced activity by manned Russian flights over the Western Black Sea last year. NATO says the vast majority of aerial encounters between NATO and Russian jets were safe and professional and that Russian incursions into NATO airspace were rare and generally short.